junior here at North Central and a media communication major. This is my third year living in the dorms and I love it except for the fact that we don't really have a kitchen to cook in and I love to cook. So I've tried to get creative and come up with meals that we can make even without having a kitchen. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make homemade mashed potatoes as well as chicken breast in the crock pot. All right, I'm gonna get started making the chicken then. And for me, I found that the best way to cook chicken in my dorm room is to cook it in the crock pot because it keeps it nice and moist. So I have a chicken breast right here and it's frozen. So I'm just gonna take it and stick it right into the crock pot. And then on top of that, we're going to add some liquid. A third cup of water right here. Two tablespoons of melted butter. To melt the butter, all I do is stick it in the microwave for about 30 to 35 seconds. And then to the butter, I'm going to add my spices. Right here, I have Montreal chicken seasoning, which is one of my favorite spices to use. But you can pretty much use any kind of spice that you prefer. Um, another one of my favorites is this roasted garlic and herb seasoning. So I'm just going to use the Montreal chicken seasoning for this time. And I'm just going to pour some into a teaspoon, just a regular teaspoon. And you, you don't want to fill it all the way, but pretty close. And then just pour that right into the butter. Then I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the water right on top of the chicken. And then on top of that, I'm going to pour in the melted butter with the spices. Just try to cover the whole chicken. And then I usually like to just top it off by sprinkling a little bit of parsley on top. You can also add extra salt and pepper if you want. And I usually cook it for about a total of four hours. And as you can see, most crock pots have two settings, either a low and a high setting. And I usually cook it on high for the first hour and then on low for the last three hours. If you want, you can cook it on low for the whole time. It'll just take a little bit longer to cook. And the advantage of cooking it on low is just that you get a juicier chicken because the liquid stays in it more. But if you want it to get done a little more quickly, you can leave it on high for at least the first hour. So to get started, to make the mashed potatoes, right here I have four smaller sized potatoes. Um, I find that that makes a pretty decent amount. And as you can see, I've already washed them and peeled them. And then I'm just going to cut them um, into about quarter inch size pieces. The smaller you make them, I think the faster that they cook. So I kind of go to make them a little bit smaller. And then once you're done, um, I'm just going to transfer the potatoes into, I have a glass jar here filled with water. And it's not really particular how much water you put in, you just have to make sure that it covers all the potatoes that you're using. And then I usually just add a little bit of salt to my potato and water. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir. I'm just going to put that in the microwave for about 20 to 25 minutes. In order to make sure that your meal is done all at the same time, you want to make sure that you start cooking your chicken long enough in advance before you want to eat. So if you were planning on a Sunday night dinner around six o'clock, you'd probably want to get that chicken started in the crock pot around two in the afternoon. And then you can just wait until about a half hour before you want to eat to make the mashed potatoes. So I have the potatoes right here, and then I'll just take the chicken out. And there you have your lovely dinner, and you can add vegetables to that or bread or whatever you want. Enjoy your home-cooked meal.